Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. You know, sometimes you get a recipe and on the recipe it says buttermilk. Now, if you're lucky you can have buttermilk in the fridge. I don't have buttermilk. Buttermilk is very expensive to buy here, but it's easy to make. Now, on your recipe list, if it says buttermilk, I will show you three ways where you can make buttermilk at home as a fantastic substitute and you can carry on with your recipe oh by the way there's nothing on this piece of paper but you get the idea okay so i'll show you how to make buttermilk three different ways and you can use it as a fantastic substitute in your cooking let's show you how to do it okay guys like i said this is a ridiculously easy way to make buttermilk okay now what we need to do, we need to take a cup of regular store-bought milk and just put your milk in your cup. Now this is the first way and then what we're going to do, we're going to take one tablespoon of vinegar, white vinegar and we're going to add that to our bowl and we're going to pour in the milk now we're going to give that a little mix up and what we do we let that rest for five minutes and that is buttermilk so what we'll do, we'll put the bottle of vinegar behind that container of milk. The next one then, we want one cup of milk. We want one tablespoon of lemon juice. So take our little lemon squeezer and give that a bit of a squeezing. Now it is only one tablespoon of lemon juice. Put that to one side. There we go, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one cup of milk. Give that a little stir. And let that rest for five minutes. So we'll put our lemon next to that. Okay, and the last one, the last one is the complicated one. One cup of milk. Now it's only complicated because it's a powder. Okay. So we don't need any more of that. Let's put the lid on the milk and move the milk. And I'm going to do it in this big bowl for the simple reason is I make a mess, always. Right, for this one guys, cream of tartar. Okay, box standard cream of tartar powder. And what we need, we need one and three quarter teaspoons or half a tablespoon of cream of tartar. So half a tablespoon of cream of tartar in our bowl. 
and then what we're going to do to make this easier we're going to add a little bit of milk and we're going to give that a mix in because it's a powder we want to dissolve that powder in that milk now you don't dissolve very hard okay we don't want to <laughs> we don't want to split the whey and in with the rest of the milk and then just give that a stir all we need to do now is leave that for five minutes that is how you make buttermilk so easy guys now if you don't have buttermilk at home there's the three substitutes to help you make the buttermilk now i hope this uh, tips and tricks sort of thing helps somebody out there you know it's helped me many times especially if you're making you know like american um, recipes where they say I don't know if you're making a hot pot with biscuits you know normally the biscuit or we know it as scone is a UK but the biscuit is made out of buttermilk now you don't always have the buttermilk in the fridge but you can make buttermilk it's simple does buttermilk freeze it does freeze guys buttermilk freezes very very well for up to three months not a problem now you can freeze it as a is a big lump if you're going to use it you know like half a pint or whatever or half a liter depending where you live or you can freeze it into ice cube trays you know put it in those big thick ice cube trays and then you can take out as much as you need when you want to reuse so it freezes very well so really then the easiest substitute to make buttermilk is the vinegar okay a cup of milk one tablespoon of vinegar mix it in leave it to stand five minutes buttermilk easy as that not everybody has a lemon on hand and you know unless you do baking and things you might not have cream of tartar but vinegar is normally around everywhere and it's very cheap so you know you can pick up some vinegar with your milk you've got buttermilk Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put this in this uh, bowl and I'm going to shove it in the fridge, you know, I'm going to clean wrap it, shove it in the fridge and I'm going to use my buttermilk for different recipes. Now if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.